guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is an e.l.f. haul, probably about once a year. I would say I go crazy on e.l.f.com because they'll have a sale that just gets me. Like this time it was 50% off plus free shipping, which to me is like crazy. And their stuff is already really cheap, you guys know that. So with 50% off and you don't have to pay for shipping, that's like amazing. So I went on their site and I did a order. I will show it to you just like, I hope I don't dump it out, but like that's the stuff I have to show you. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm so excited to do this haul because I've actually been waiting a little bit to do it. I've had this stuff for a couple weeks now and I have been trying the products so I could give you a review on them, but I haven't been able to take them. Like I've kept putting them back in the packages, which is really annoying, but now I can just be fun and fancy free with them. So yes, let's get into it. So the first thing is the e.l.f. Studio Mascara Primer and pretty much everything I think pretty much everything I ordered just from the studio line. That is my absolute favorite. But this is really, really good. There are some pros and there are some cons. The pros is that it primes like nobody's business. Your lashes will be super long. It is buildable, but it's heavy. This is what the brush looks like. Yeah, it's very, very nice. The formula is nice, but it is heavy. So if you want your lashes curled, which I do, I will. Mm, the weight isn't the best thing. So it's totally up to you what you want to do with that. Okay, the next thing that I'm pulling out of here is a studio moisturizing liquid lipstick. Not liquid lipstick. I'm crazy. Moisturizing lipstick. This one is in Pink Minx. I have to tell you, I'm not going to open this up because I'm probably going to pass this along because I don't like this at all. On me. I do not like sheer lip sticks on me. I feel like I need something that's more pigmented, more opaque, and this just did not do it for me. So for someone who likes something a little bit more sheer, this is going to be good for you. It is a very pretty pink nude color, but just no good for me. So the next thing is the HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. Now there's only one way for me to describe this, okay? So I took it out of the package. I went to try it on in my highlighting areas, and what it was is I opened it up and I was like, Oh, and then when I put it on, it was like, oh, so you're going to look at it and be like, oh, this isn't going to work. This doesn't look pigmented. This doesn't look like it's going to actually conceal anything. But then when you blend it out, it's like, wow, this stuff really works. So it's a very strange formula where you think it's not going to work, but then it totally does. So I recommend that. I really liked it. Okay, the next thing is another concealer. Here we go. Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter. This one is in Glow and Fair. And um, I do like this. I thought this was very, very thick and pigmented because it is for the under eye, which I need some help with those circles because I do not get nearly enough rest. And um, really, really nice. And it's very, very um, subtle for a highlight and it's really pretty. Next is the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and this is in Sheer and I heard so much about this product from other videos. Everybody was loving it and so I was like, oh, I definitely want to give that a try. It comes with its own little brush which is actually, you know, not bad. I hate all the brushes that come with everything but this one isn't bad, especially for applying this product. I think they hit the nail on the head with that one. And when you open this up, you're going to be like, why is this thing full of glitter? And it is. There is a huge amount of finely milled glitter in here. And you're like, well, that's going to look ridiculous under my eyes. But somehow it just blends right in and it looks just fine. So I don't know how that's possible, Elf, but you did it. So that's awesome. And this video is not sponsored, by the way. So the next thing is another moisturizing lipstick. And this one was sadly a disappointment to me. Again, this one is in Velvet Rope. I thought that these were going to be a lot more opaque, a lot thicker, and they just, and by thicker I mean the formula goes on really nice and, I don't know, heavy. This is like a balm almost. I don't know. I just don't like these that much, and I just thought they were going to be different. So yes, this is supposed to be this like bright vivid red. It comes out like, almost like a strawberry stain on my lips. And my lips are pretty pigmented, so it could just be me, but I just didn't really like this for me. Okay, so the next one is a long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow. 
these I love. I have the gold one, which is called Toast. And I love that one so much I could not wait to get another one. This is what it looks like. This one is Soiree. I will show you what it looks like. And these are like bouncy consistency. They're, they're definitely like a liquid. If you see what I just did with my finger. Yes, I'll show you what these look like. But they are so beautiful. It's ridiculous how beautiful they are. They're probably not you know, as pigmented or foily as like a magnificent metal, for example, but they are still really, really pretty. Can you see how that's reflecting in the light? Ugh. Okay, so this next thing is the Pout Perfector in Glow. I've actually wanted this for a long, long time, but I every time I went on there, they were sold out, and I was so mad. And this one... When I first order, made my order, they accidentally like omitted a few items, so I had to wait for them to come in. So I haven't been able to try this. So I'm going to try it right now and see what we think about. Oh, that's interesting. Um, the brush was like bent in there, but okay. Ooh, yeah. Very pretty. It's right there. And wow. Very, very nice. So this is supposed to go like in the middle, I think, of your lips. Oh, I'm sad about the brush being like that, but oh, we can get around it. This is the Pout Perfector. And this only comes in one color in glow, so yeah, like that. Okay, um, the next thing I was very excited about, this is also something that I cannot wait to show you because it's so beautiful. This is a baked eyeshadow in Bark. <clears throat> now, it looks like this. Okay, let me just show you. This is how they swatch. It swatches like that, okay, which is pretty, but then let me show you just when you wet your finger and then do it. Oh boy. It just like brings it to life. It's so beautiful. I love it to death. So, Yes, I definitely like this. I mean, obviously for the money, it's a great price. Okay, this next product was actually a repurchase. This is the Mini Eyelash Curler, and it's just like a regular eyelash curler, only it's tiny. It's so cute. Look at it, guys. Okay, it's in the package, but yeah. And you are curling your lashes, and you want to get specific, like maybe in here or in the outer corners, this is great, and it does such a good job. So I really like the Mini Eyelash Curler. Okay, let's do some of the brushes. Alright, I got the Mineral Powder Brush. This one looks really cool. Their brushes are amazing for the price. They're crazy. I mean, I've bought expensive brushes before, and they just, I mean, I feel like they're definitely comparable to these, or these are comparable to those. And yeah, they're very, very good. They're so soft. The bristles do not fall out. In my experience, I've used these for years. They don't fall out. This is a very nice one. This is the powder brush. Yeah, I definitely think I'll use this. I never use it for what it's for, but I think I actually will use this one for powder. <clears throat> Next, I got the Small Precision Brush, and I love this one as well. This is a repurchase. This one I like to use when I am just kind of blending out my liquid liner with a black shadow. I will just kind of soften it up using this brush. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I like this one. Here's another brush. This is the powder brush. Powder brush. I love this brush. This is just like a flat circle. I love it. I use this for my foundation, as you already know if you watch my videos. This is my favorite foundation brush, even though it's a powder brush. It is the best for dabbing. I love it. It blends beautifully, and yeah, love this. Okay, let's do a blush. This one is Candid Coral. I heard so many good things about this. This is supposed to be a dupe for one of the NARS ones. I don't, can't remember which one, but this is what it looks like. And to be honest, I just covered up my entire face. To be honest with you, this doesn't look coral to me at all. Does it to you? It looks like mauve slash tan. This is a really pretty color. And going into fall and winter, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Even though I'm guessing it's for spring and summer being candid coral. And maybe it's just the one that I got. Maybe it's defective. I don't know. But I like this color anyway. Here is a matte lip color. Now I 
pretty much have all the matte lip colors. This one is Tea Rose, and I just thought, I don't usually buy these kinds of colors. They're like baby pinks, just because usually my lips don't take them very well because they're so pigmented and the, the lipsticks just aren't pigmented enough to cover them over and actually show the color of the lipstick. Oh, this one is just like beautiful. <sighs> do I have to say more about that? And they give you a really good amount of product. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to do that and it's never going to go back down. Uh, it's the start of my life. Okay, <clears throat> no, one back down. Okay, so yes, these are awesome, T-Rose. Okay, here is the cream eyeliner in black. It comes with a little brush, which is, you know, I can give or take. Give or take? No. Take or leave. Take or leave the brush. And this is a repurchase as well. I haven't used this in a couple years, but when I got it last time, I really liked it. And what happened was I didn't close it tight enough, and I went to use it one day after like two months of totally forgetting about it, and it was like this big, okay? It was, it just had dehydrated completely, and it was just this tiny little thing in here so make sure you close this thing tightly but it's really good the staying power is awesome it's very very dark and i recommend this brush this one i was so excited about this is called the pointed foundation brush and look at this doesn't it remind you of the sigma f86 when i saw this i was like oh my goodness that looks just like it only smaller obviously but the shape is very similar and so i didn't really want to buy the other one i I mean, I want to, obviously, but I can't really afford that brush. So I thought I'd just get this one instead, and I really like it so far. So. Last brush, flat eyeliner brush. I just noticed that I don't have anything like this, and a lot of other beauty gurus use this under the eye, and I thought I would make good use of this. I think this is the last moisturizing lipstick because I don't like these. You know, flirty and fabulous. It is not fabulous at all. I don't like it. Too sheer. Okay? Next thing. Okay. Eyebrow Treat and Tame. This is in clear and light. I think this is the lightest one they had. Yeah, pretty sure. And I have not tried the treat part, but I've tried the tame part, which is the color. This is so cool. I'm guessing, though I have not tried Benefit Gimme Brow, I'm guessing this is sort of like it because it colors your brows with a mascara wand and there are tiny little fibers in here that like create brows and it's really really neat and this product I was so surprised at the quality it's really really nice so I could not believe this this is amazing for three bucks and then with half off a dollar fifty yeah a repurchase the red carpet lip stain. I love it. I don't ever use these clear glosses that they give you, but I definitely make good use of these lip stains. This is my favorite one. This is a bright, vivid red. If you put it on, I'm telling you, I've put this on at 7 a.m. and I will eat breakfast, eat lunch, it will not see how much off. It won't. And it'll stay on until 7 p.m. if you want it to. Put and if you on your hand, you see nothing. That is how good this lip stain is. So, yeah, I can't even believe this stuff. And I can't say any more about it because it's just, you're going to have to see it for yourself. It's amazing. Next is the Waterproof Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. I did not get a chance to try this, so I don't know what to tell you about this. I have been buying waterproof mascara lately because I've realized I always hated it. And I've realized that. I shouldn't because it's like hairspray for your lashes. If you curl your lashes and then put waterproof mascara on, it's like bing for the rest of the day. It's awesome. And I love it. Just the problem is getting it off. So you just got to be really careful so you don't pull your lashes out when you do that. But that's what the brush looks like. Haven't tried it yet. Another so big eyeshadow for you. This one is in Bronzed Beauty. And this one is like a gold bronze. Oh, look at it. wet just brings it to life. I love it. That is Bronzed Beauty Baked Eyeshadow. Yes. Okay, last item. It is a repurchase. This is the Lip Exfoliator. I love this stuff. You guys probably saw this in my Lip Addict video tag thing. And 
it's awesome. This is my favorite lip treatment. I like to put this on after the shower and just kind of scrub a little and it tastes so good. It tastes like coconut and buttercream and sugar. It's just so good and I love it. It, you guys that's all the items I got from this elf haul I know it seems like a lot of stuff but when you consider that they were all half off I didn't have to pay shipping and I only do it once a year then yeah I'm pretty happy with it and all of these things cost less than like one Tom Ford lipstick because they're like $50 this whole haul cost 43 bucks altogether which to me I'm like oh $43 but you know what I only do it once a year you know so okay I guess I will talk to you later, and thank you so much for watching Gloss and Sparkle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Oh. Hot in here. You're going to put it on your, oh my goodness, there's something in my eye. You little dummy. Yep. Oh, I taped that whole thing? Oh my word. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, pumped. I am pumped. No, no. Okay, probably <laughs> look like I have pink eye now. Oh, it's an eyelash.